Hello guys and what's up? Uh, this cave designs also known as Kizo, and uh, today I'm gonna show you guys. Oh, this is episode two of my my tutorial series for like designing, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a YouTube template. I mean, to be a good designer, you want to make all your stuff yourself, and if you become this is a career, uh, you're gonna have to. So let's get started. Go to file new and uh, the dimensions of the max thing is it's uh go to yeah go to the width and make sure these are in pixels type in two five six zero and go to height and do it one four four zero uh make sure that's the 72 and uh the rest is good so once you've done that then you want to do file new because uh, this is just the way I do it I mean it's simpler um, now you're gonna do two five six zero actually it's the same thing uh, and then you're gonna do the height four two three hit ok and it's gonna create a new these are your tabs so that's new document things and then uh, just go back up, file new, and uh, go and do it up here. And this time it's gonna be different. One eight five five and four two three. Well, uh, th this is gonna be the same the whole time, I think. Uh, and then you'll file new again. This is the last time. Don't worry. And this one is one five four six and then uh, and hit okay again so now what you want to do is so this one's smaller this is a little bit bigger and this is bigger and that's the full screen come back to the small one and uh, create a new layer on it get out your bucket tool make sure this is black fill that in go to your next one create a, a new layer make the black click on the black and this is your color thing just go up a little bit so it's a different color click on that and then uh, go back to this one make it a lighter color and then go back to your bucket click OK except I, uh, I made it on my background so control Z that hit a new layer and uh, fill that in now what you want to do is go back to the big one and uh, bring down a guide and it'll just snap in place so yep just stand in place and uh, that's it it's not working go to view new guide and then go to vertical and uh, make this 50% and then make sure that you make sure you have the 50 like percent in there and then hit ok and then you'll have a line uh, vertically and then just when you do that again, click on the option horizontal and you'll get the line going the other way in the middle. Um, and then what you want to do is you're going to go back to this layer. Make sure you click on that layer. And then click the move tool. Drag it up. And then where you're on this layer, drag it to the first layer we've created. You have to make sure like you're going over and then it'll show a box and you could drag back down and uh, it'll be in here so now what you want to do center this up in the middle and uh, then just make sure it's probably not going to be on the center right here because one of the lines are messed up but uh, zoom in which is control and then the plus button or you can use the zoom tool and uh, yeah just get as close as you can it's not gonna be like perfect, I don't know. Because uh, the pixels aren't an even number. But uh, that's as best as we'll get it. Alright, and then we already used this one. So go back to the. Go to the third one. And uh, take this one, drag this one. Put it on here. Make sure it's in the center. This one you wanna make sure it gets on this line perfect. And uh, the other line, uh, you don't have to make sure it's exactly in the middle, just make sure it's exactly over the other 
Like, see right here? Let me show you. See how it's right this line? It's not over that, so hit up. And now, uh, yeah, but by the way, guys, if you're on the move tool, you can use your arrow keys to, uh, to move it, which is a lot better. And then, uh, so once you have that one, go back to the other one. Probably now we have to drag this one up to the first layer and down again. Once you have that there, let's bring it over. It's in the center. Now make sure it's all lined up. So control plus button. Oh shit. Yep, no need this. I get up. Alright. I think this one's already in the center. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Let me just go up top, see if it's good. Alright, we have that there. And uh, now we're gonna do the lines. The guidelines. So, uh, if you don't have these these numbers on the uh, side, do Control R. See, they're gone now. Control R, they're back. And uh, you should have. And if you don't, uh, you can comment below and I'll try to find it in the description. But uh, drag a line to this line right here. It doesn't have to be accurate, just drag it by it. And then drag one over here. On the other side, the same places. And then go up top. And uh, make sure you click on this line. And you get a, like a thing. Or like a ruler. Probably should have said that. And uh, these, are, these are guidelines so that um, when you're clicking near them, it, it like automatically goes to them and you know where in the background you can actually make your background or I mean make the stuff the text so that you could see it but zoom in on the lines zoom in on this first line uh, you want to zoom in as close as you can so that you can get all the pixels and uh, just uh, get your move tool out Oops. Uh, go over that line and uh, drag it over here so now that's in the middle and then just go over because you're already on the middle so there's gonna be four lines that you have to fix right here all right Almost. doesn't have to be too perfect because it's automatically gonna like it's automatically gonna uh, go right there because it's a pixel and uh, your color it can't be like in between right here it's gonna have to be in one of those boxes I don't know if you'll get what I mean, but eventually you will. Alright, so make sure you do it to both sides, like I'm doing here. And, uh, that one's good. I'm a little perfectionist, so even though that doesn't really matter, I like to do it anyways. Alright. Now, just go up a little. And that's the middle, so don't, don't go right there. Keep on going up. Alright, see this line here? And uh, then go right back down. And then go up. Get it to that pass. And put this line right here. And uh, there you have it. You have all the guidelines. So, this is, uh, this is all the guidelines to make a background. This is right here. This uh, box. This is the safe area. Only whatever you put here will be on will be on all devices, and uh, you can be seen. This is for tablets. This box right here, so you get this space for tablets, and uh, this box is for like desktop computers. But uh, not not all computers like for some reason like have that size, and uh, uh, depending on your size uh, is what like you get. But uh, this outer layer is for TVs, but. Me, uh, I've never seen anyone use a TV. I used one before, but for some reason the background didn't show up still, so I don't know. Anyway, um, but you don't have to do this. If you guys want, um, you don't have to, but I, I advise you to. So uh, once you have all these, either you can, I mean, I, ju I just delete them because all you really need is the guides. So once you have them, uh, go ahead and delete them. And uh, create a new layer. Uh, get out your your bucket tool. Click on black. I mean, I'm making uh, a thing for black backgrounds. Like, with, I don't know if you like that, but 
I mean, it doesn't matter. You can always change it. And then, layer. Yeah, make this black. And then, create a new layer over it. I already, I created two. So, I'll delete one. Once you have a new layer, go to your... Go to your... Sorry, my brother walked in. Go to your, uh... Click on the bucket. Go to your green tool. And... Go over to the radiant... Sorry, my brother just passed me up, man. Oops, chosen. And uh, once you did that, make sure you click on white. Go to the tool, go to the middle, click out. You just want to get a nice, uh, nice gradient in the middle here. And uh, lower the opacity. So it looks about like this. Create a new layer. Go over to your tools. Make sure, I mean, this snap tools. Yeah, go to your tools, go to rectangle, t rectangle tool, I said it wrong again, whatever. Alright, and then once you have it, make sure you're on black again. And uh, click on this guideline right here, and uh, it'll snap you to the guideline, so that's why I was talking about guidelines, so if it'll automatically put you on that pixel. So we did that, go to the layer, right click it, rasterize it, and what that does is makes it edible to where you can... Uh, to where you can mess around with it and do anything to it. So then, once you do that, do Control. Make sure you're on this layer, Control J. And uh, what that does is copy it, and then click on it and hold Shift and drag down. And sh when you hold Shift and drag down, it automatically uh, clips to. It automatically clips to the layer. But I'm just gonna zoom in. So yep, see it's perfectly there. Uh, I mean, when you hold Shift and drag down, it will like clip into that spot and uh it'll only go down it won't move side to side so that's a good feature and uh then once you have these layers just right click merge down you can rename these black and then this you can always adjust and uh whatever you do make your background under under this layer right here so everything you do make it under and this is your background and if you want to add uh, to add whatever your name and stuff, you could do like by uh, oh here why is it black? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's because it's under the black layer. So yeah, the only layer that you can have above black is your name. So do by captive design. There's this noisy house is uh whatever just getting up or not getting up but yeah it is friends uh make some friends over why make this a little bigger go 36 uh this is a font I like Optimus semi bowl and if you click over here you can adjust your uh adjust your whatever font stuff but uh, if you guys want to know more about that, I can teach you later. Now what you have it, just drag it to the middle. And now uh, where this center thing is, it's where that means like it's the middle of this layer. So make sure it's the match, make this the center. Just match up with this blue line, or you don't have to, but it'd be nice and centered. Drag it up, and uh, anything, just, you see, whatever you make inside this box will be on any device. This will be on tablets, and this will be on... Uh, desktops so just be sure make everything you do in this box I hope you guys enjoyed I hope this helped now you know how to become a better designer and uh, create your stuff on your own and just save this and uh, use this as a template you don't have to do this every time and uh, thanks for watching guys please leave a like comment and uh, share it I mean it helps me out and yeah I said and like three times but Let's get on with it. Peace out, guys.